come soon here at ringside with my colleague Jesse the Body Ventura. That's right, Gorilla. I'm pumped up. I'm here to call it like it is, as Jesse the Body always does. A tremendous happening right here. You won't find any better action anywhere. Unbelievable. Well, I'll tell you what, Gorilla, I'm pumped up. I'm happy to be a part of it. It's great to be back with you. It's my pleasure to be here with you and part of this happening. Unbelievable. Here we go. Time for talk is ended. Absolutely. They're ready. They've trained hard. What a matchup this is going to be, Gorilla Monsoon. Unbelievable ovation as they're hanging off the rafters. Just take a look at the fantastic spillover crowd here for this extravaganza. The World Wrestling Federation outdoing itself and presenting this unbelievable part of wrestling. Holy crap. I'm, I'm so excited, Just you can, you can feel the electricity in the air here. You can grab a hold of it, touch it, cut it. That's right. It's everything I expected it to be, Gino Monsoon. Well, you said that right, Jesse. And this is just an international affair. We're just deluged here by cameramen and newspaper reporters from all over the entire world wanting to cover this event. Boy, it's a happening. Well, this is going to be a classic matchup. You're going to see some tremendous moves in this bout. Speed, agility, knowledge, it's all in there. All the ingredients necessary for a great match. Whoa, this will separate the men from the boys right here. Well, Gorilla, you can feel the tension Three. right now. This is what it's all come Four. down to. You can cut it with a knife. Five. You can feel the electricity in the air. Thick. You're going to see some fine wrestling here. Absolutely. Take a look at the charisma. Take a look at the power pack. Oh, definitely. They're both in great shape. Great shape. I got to do my normal. Say hi to my four biggest fans in Minneapolis. Terry Tyrell, Jake, Jeremiah. They could be the only four. What are you talking about? I don't know. I never heard you say hello to anybody else before. You're a long way from home, Jeff. Halfway across the country. Prince is watching at my house. Oh, Prince. He's a big fan, you know. I understood just that uh, your dog was named Prince. Is that, is that correct? No. Oh, oh, someone disappointed me. You're, you're, you're all full of misinformation, Monson. You may see some rule breaking here. You like to believe all scientific, but you'll see green come out. I'll, I'll be surprised, Jess. I'll be surprised. Both men of extremely high character. Uh -huh. Tre tremendous can, respect for I each other. I can feel the volcano getting ready to erupt. You think alive. so? Oh, I can feel the tension. Give me a break, Jess. How come you don't believe One, everything I tell two. you? Because uh, sometimes you're a fountain of misinformation. Never. I'm the man who tells it like it is. Must add some steam on your lenses. You're worse than Watergate. At that point in time. Yeah, you're How are you going to win if you ain't aggressive? You enter One. something, you go after it. What is this? Two. He's also Three. a sportsman, Jess. A sportsman. Four. Sportsmen are only Five. involved in duck hunting and pheasant hunting. Not an easy hold to counter, Jess. He certainly could hurt you in a lot of ways. Oh, oh yeah, that's smart wrestling. You know, if you can get two. your body in the way of that referee, you call it dirty. Three. dirty wrestling. Dirty wrestling, smart wrestling, it's winning wrestling, Gorilla. Now, don't you dare tell me you never thought nobody. I, I may resemble that remark. Jeff. Yeah, I remember you and Jack, Jack Dempsey back in 26. Two. Always Three. remember, it ain't how you play the game, it's whether you win or lose. That's exactly what I heard your motto was, Jeff. But you hear right. I remember you saying many times you had a shirt made. That's it. Win if you can, lose if you must, but always cheat. Hey, that's true, too. No, I thought that was yours. That's true, too. You resemble that. But like I said, you know, Nine. all spare is love and war. Chad going on from this capacity crowd, USA. Listen, this is a straight grudge match right here. These two One, guys just do two. not like each other. No love lost here. This is going to be a classic confrontation here. 
You got two veteran wrestlers. They, these two guys also just are the type of guys who, if necessary, could wrestle for an hour and a half. Definitely. I'll tell you, these are like two Big Mac trucks colliding head on. Irresistible force meeting the immovable object. Both of these guys will be pulling out all the stops. You can bet on that one. Imagine just what's going through the lines of these two individuals. Gorilla, how, how would you like to be that little referee having to try to contain these two guys? Well, that's where you use the count, Jess. You don't try to physically step between these guys where you can squash like a great. I like to take my time, too. It's a psych-out thing, Gorilla Monsoon. It's a psych-out. You get your opponent up to get him upset. Just those little added ledge. edges can mean the difference between victory or defeat. Very, very important part of professional wrestling, psychology, and no one knows it any better than my colleague. Very well put, Jesse. Great. Well, it's important the pace of a match. Some guys like a slower pace, other guys like a faster pace. And if you can get your opponent to wrestle at the pace you want to go at, that's to your advantage at all times. You know that as well as I do, Gino. Know. My, my key was never play another man's game, Jess. Right. That's right, bro. Make him play your game if at all possible. Don't play his, and if you can't get either one, then just wing it. That's right. Seesaw battle going on here, Jess. Definitely a good, good matchup. How quick the momentum can change in professional wrestling in the tide turns, so to speak. If you don't have a face of wrestling knowledge, you can forget about right. it. That's right, that's right. Unless possibly you're an awesome individual like a King Kong Bundy. Well, I understand that he also has a and that's that what you bet That from. makes it doubly bad. Doubly bad. It's like having dynamite with a short fuse. Apparently some damage done to that uh, uh, tore a hamstring or uh, hamstring muscle, muscle or whatever, sure. It happens all the time, plenty of injuries. That's what I talked about. I, I thought it was a stupid move. Well, I, I disagree with you then and I disagree with you now. Yeah, well look, and apparently he's injured himself. Well, it happens all the time, Jess. It goes with the territory. I understand somebody's in jeopardy of you losing their yacht. Jess. One, is that correct? Two. One of your billionaire friends, I don't know. Not Marv. Oh, no. I didn't say any names, did I? Oh. I know you like to rub elbows with your friends. No, 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 no. They like to rub elbows oh. with me. Sorry. You find out all the Hollywood gossip? Sure. <laughs> I was on the plane the other day with Carol Lawson. Yeah. Couldn't keep her away. Great. Had to call the stewardesses for help. Witness. That. Certainly. Ryan O'Neill saw the whole thing. I Had a chance to see Mr. Perfect's father, Larry the Axe, hit Yes, I did. Too. Still got a 24 inch neck. He said he had to lose 20 pounds. I said, get your neck down to 18, you'll lose it. Oh, one of the big fans, Jess, of the WWF. Yeah, Sugar Ray Leonard. I guess you'd call him the undisputed middleweight champ now, right? I dispute it, though, because I think Marvin Hagler won. Well, you have enough undisputed things to claim, Jess. Bob Euchre was here last year. What a guy. Well, I won't talk so good about Bob Euchre. To me, he ain't such a great guy. I'm not bad away, then. Well, I keep pushing the man. Oh, Bobby, welcome. All right. One, hey, this is two. The this is the first time I ever had an option renewed. Second year for me, Gorilla. Glad to have you back, Bobby. Well, I guess it's okay. You know, like they said, they renewed your contract. Like you said, you never got that in baseball, Euchre. One year with each team there. Hey, come on. I'm looking forward to it, man. Good to be back with you and you. I'm going to have to say I can tell here sitting between hey, the youth and the body. I don't think Vanna White has to worry about getting chased around by you. She's having a good time. Oh, she's definitely here. Yeah, she's supposed to be here. Oh, I'm reason you're being here. That's your main reason for being yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Vanna White? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to meet her here someplace. Well, you do. Do you have any idea that she's in love with me? Uh, I, I saw something about that in some tablet. I bet, no, that's not her. It was, uh, in fact, the National Examiner, you. Is right that where it was? Page, yes. She wouldn't come here unless she got a date from me. And I was very upset about that. Jack Tunney never asked me. <laughs> I'm 
sure, I'm Woo! sure you're aware, you, that the body is uh, going to be behind the broadcast to boot this ball for baseball. Yes, I know that. I heard all about it. Well, I'll tell you what, you you never see nothing like this in baseball, will you? Ah, this looks like the final day of cut down day in spring training to me. Boy, Dr. Frank Joe would have a picnic at this thing. Hey, oh. Euchre, you know something? Yeah, what? With your lifetime batting average of 200, that means with every swing, you could only hit one guy out of five. The only thing, if I ever had a good year, it would have messed me all up now, you know? Woo! That's why I never wanted to be an MVP, just for reasons oh, wow. like that. Good example. That's well, why you hit 200, huh? Well, keep you out of that running. Well, you know, you, if Anna has good taste, you know she's less filling now. Yeah, please, please. yeah, I'm very familiar with that. Will you can stop. <laughs> you know, that's like kind of like talking to the third base coach before you lay down the butt, you very familiar with that. Uh, and then again, in your case, you, you got to make contact with the ball. And most of my third base conversations came from the dugout. Well, you know, when money's involved, there ain't no friend, you. You would know about that, wouldn't you, big boy? Definitely. One. Well, guys, uh, hey, look, it's Three, really been nice, really been nice being up here with you. I told you earlier.